Hey everyone, seeing as this channel has recently passed 2,500 subscribers, I'm going to be starting a new series called Modeling Minecraft. So I wanted to do this series mainly for two reasons. Firstly, I've been receiving a lot of requests uh, for tutorials on how to do block models and what programs to use, and also because I believe that people haven't fully taken advantage of block models in 1.8 for things like adventure maps or server mini games or anything like that. So this series is going to explore a lot of things such as we'll start off by looking at what block models actually are and what programs we can use to make them and then start making a few block models and then we'll move on to things like how we can actually use those block models in things like adventure maps. So initially I wanted to get straight into showing you guys some programs we can use to make block models, but I think we'll leave that for next episode, and this episode what we'll do is get our whole assets set up and explore what block models actually are and have a look at some examples here. So here are a few examples of some block models. This is a little coffee cup that I made just a few minutes ago. Uh, this is Mr. Crayfish's cauldron. He did a tutorial on how to make this in his model editor. Um, I'll leave a link to the video in the description for that. Uh, this is also Mr. Crayfish's chair that he did. This is a top hat on a zombie that I made. Uh, this was actually my first block model. It's a cactus and it uses the oxide daisy texture for the flower on top. Uh, this is the cow skull block model that I used in Planetary Confinement. And then all of these back ones are by no Too Good in his default 3D resource pack, which I'll leave in the description as well. So we have an andesite gravestone here. We have the blue orchid. We have just some Christmas ornament. We have a chair, which is actually a wooden stair. We have some potatoes on farmland. And lastly, we have a beacon with a sort of animated texture inside. Okay, so now that we've seen some examples of block models, we're going to set up a folder here which will contain all the Minecraft assets. And this just makes modeling a bit easier, especially if you use an external program to edit the model. So to get the assets, we're just going to open the Minecraft launcher. And once it's loaded, we are going to click Edit Profile and Open Game Directory and then you can close out the launcher. This just brings us to the .minecraft directory. I suggest you actually pin this to um, the task manager or whatever so you have an, an easier way to get to it. Um, now we're going to go into versions and you need to play on 1.8 at least once to generate a 1.8 folder. I'm just going to take the most recent one, 1.8.4. And then you need a program such as WinRAR, which can open uh, jar files. So I'm going to open that up to WinRAR. And it's going to tell me that I need to buy it. Um, and then we're going to drag this assets folder here into our Minecraft models folder. I'll take a few seconds because it's copying a whole lot of files. Do -do 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 -do. And it should be done. So now if we go into Minecraft models, we have an assets folder and we have the Minecraft folder. And then we have a bunch of different folders, which I'll explain probably in another video. But for now, we're just going to go into models, block. And then in here, we have a list of all the different block models. So a block model is essentially just an organized text file in the JSON formatting. And since most Minecraft blocks are just a 16 by 16 by 16 cube, we have a block model here called cube, which most normal blocks inherit. And that just decreases the file sizes and makes everything a lot neater. So in this file, we have one element here, and we can see that it is a cube with, and the two corners of that cube are 0, 0, 0 and 16, 16, 16 in coordinates and it also specifies the faces, the texture of that face and the cull face of that face. 
Uh, don't get too intimidated at the moment because in a lot of modeling programs you don't even have to know any of this syntaxing um, unless you want to use Notepad++ but I'll get into the different programs we can use next episode but for now I just wanted to have a look at what the block models actually are so if we go into we'll just use the top one Aikaisha Bark you can see it uses the parent block slash cubeball which is a parent of cube um, and then it has textures and since it just uses the same texture each time it just uses the texture called all and that is blocks slash log ikaisha and if we go back into minecraft we can go into textures blocks and then we have all the texture files here and the reason i set up this whole um, assets folder is basically so that we have access to all these different textures that we can use for our Minecraft models. Uh, so that's going to be the end of this episode of Modeling Minecraft. In the next episode we'll have a look at the different programs we can use for modeling and the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Um, but let me know what you think of this series so far and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.